Welcome back to 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. Today is tw day 21. You've made it. Today's title is A New Creation. Prayer transforms our lives and with our actions makes us vessels for God's work on earth. So let's allow him to use us. We have two scriptures today that we're going to read. First one is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 through 18. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. All of this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Our second scripture is Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. In our family moment today, as a new creation, list five things you would like to be able to do with Jesus' help. Use the fruit of the Spirit you find in Galatians as a guide for what kinds of things to pick, like to be good to my sister or brother, to keep peace within the group of friends. Then think of ways you can do those things each day and ask the Holy Spirit in prayer to help you do them. This is your holy to-do list. So our final link in our prayer chain says, Day 21 lists five things that you can only do with Jesus' help. Let's get that added on. Now that we have our prayer cha chain complete, I have a nice little prayer chain here. Kids, if you want, you can take this and hang this up in your room. And every day you can start over with day one and continue to pray each of the prayers to help you with, with guided prayers to do in your devotional time as well. So our prayer and reflection points today. Number one, by faith, embrace your identity as a new creation. The old is gone and you are now new. Listen for the Holy Spirit's prompting, promptings toward patience, humility, love, faith, and joy. Point two, in these days where strife and division dominate, ask the Spirit to give you power, courage, and gospel-infused speech that you might clearly proclaim the gospel to whom you are led. Point three, in Christ, God took incompatible man and made him compatible with a holy God. Pray for the grace to take the initiative in diffusing anger, speaking words that heal, and returning good for evil. And don't forget, we do have one additional scripture you can read. It's found in Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 through 18. You can add that as well to time to read. So let's take this last day to do our prayer and reflection. <laughs> 